morning, YouTube pipe smokers. So I'm going to go over a few tools if you want to restore a pipe. Uh, tools I use. And um, this is only my way. It's more than one way to skin a cat, as they say. Um, these are very good for cleaning up oxidated stems. They're micro mesh. You can get these on Amazon. Uh, a lot of places sell them. They're different sandpaper grits, 1,500 to 12,000. 1,500 being the most coarse. And you start with the coarsest one with water. And you can, this is not an oxidated stem, there's a new stem. But even this one, you would start by rubbing it, all, cleaning up all the edges, and keep going to the high, uh, finest grit. And then you'll see a sheen start to come on. And then you would take a carnauba wax and rub it on and polish it off. You can all do it by hand because these get it down to a really nice finish by hand. So you don't have to have a buffer, but if you do, a good um, cheap buffer that works well is a Dremel tool. They have the buffing wheel in that kit usually, and that works well on stems. Next item, this file. I've only been able to find it on Vermont Freehand. Um, it's a very flexible, thin file, and this is to clean not clean or expand the draft hole in a stem so you can make that nice funnel shape that V funnel shape to disperse the smoke evenly very important tool for modifying stems next tool is a reamer this tool I don't like for the reaming qualities but I like it for the drill that comes in the Store it in the tip here. This is excellent to clean up a draft hole going into the bowl. It's an okay reamer. You have to be careful with reamers because you can crack a bowl. If you're not careful, you got to start very gradually. Uh, this one expands as you uh, adjust it. You can see the, uh, the fingers coming out. I like it for the drill. But the better reamer, in my opinion, of this is this one. This comes in a kit. These are replaceable. Comes three different sizes. These work for most common pipe sizes. Also good files. You can get these anywhere, Lowe's, Home Depot. This happens to come with a handle. You remove the file and switch the type good for cleaning up uh, stems and um, new stems taking off the ridges and uh, changing the, the bit that goes in your mouth you can make it a little smaller if you like it you could suit so don't be afraid to experiment you can change a pipe if you don't like something about it don't be afraid to take a little file to it and then polish um, so if this was a little sharp edge here, you would file this down, both sides, or if you want to reduce the button size, file it until it's comfortable for you. And then this makes it rough, go back with the micro pads, get, get it fine, and then polish it, and you got a customized stem that fits you. The only thing be warned, if you ever wanted to sell the pipe, if somebody don't happen to like the modification you did, then you just ruined a, a good pipe as far as resale value. But if it's something you always want to keep for yourself, then you have no problem. Also, if you don't like a color of your pipe, these are leather dyes. This happens to be dark mahogany. They have zillion colors. Most pipe makers use leather dye. Um, I fully don't know the reason for it, but... <clears throat> Besides they're good dyes, but um, these you can pick up all over. Also, Amazon sells them. Carnauba wax, great for cleaning up a pipe and uh, polishing it. And you can get it in, this is in liquid form, this is in stick form. 
Also, Lowe's sells these brushes. Another good thing, they come with nylon, brass, and uh, steel. Good for cleaning out a bowl. They work really well. They're fine enough that they don't cut into the wood, but they take away the carbon. And then these are reamers. These are in millimeters. This is more for advanced if you want to modify a pipe stem to accept a 9mm filter if you have enough meat. You start with a small reamer and work your way up. They work a little better than drills because they're not aggressive. They only take a little material off at a time. They're fairly cheap. You can buy a set of these on Amazon in millimeter and in uh, SAE. Also, beeswax should be in your arsenal. This is excellent. You put a, If you have a loose bit, you put a little bit of beeswax on the, the bit, stick it in the pipe, and it now just becomes a little tighter. There's other ways to tighten up a loose stem. You could heat it up a little bit, but you got to be careful. And uh, the heat expands the material, and then you stick it in the pipe, and it sizes it, and then you get a tighter fit. But beeswax works well also. But it's somewhat temporary. You have to apply this a couple of times as the stem becomes loose again. Also, if you haven't smoked a pipe and you store them in an air-conditioned room, you notice your stems will come a little loose. Usually after a bowl of smoking, it'll expand again and you'll be okay. But if it's extremely loose, put a little bit of beeswax and uh, you're good to go. So that's uh, a basic toolkit if you want to restore or modify a pipe. I keep it all in a little Craftsman toolbox I got, so everything's in one place. Oh, also, a pen light. Very good. You'll go look down the draft hole and uh, look inside the bowl to see if there's any cracks or anything. Uh, uh, excellent handy tool. They're cheap enough. They're all over the place. I happened to pick this up yesterday. It was three in tractor supply for ten dollars, and it came with batteries, but no bag. <laughs> anyway, um, so I hope that helps some of you. And oh, also a good uh, knife for cleaning out a bowl. This happens to be a pipe knife, and this is cheap, by the way. You get these at. Um, Cutlery Corner, I think is the name. They're called Dr. Pipe. Has a little built-in tamper because it's flat in the back. Knife and a little poker uh, to stick down the stem. Oh, and last, of course, it don't have to be said, pipe cleaners. Keep a ton of pipe cleaners around. And the other thing I do is I buy uh, grain alcohol. I put a little bit of food dye in it because I like the color blue. And um, put this on your pipe, clean, uh, pipe cleaner and then you clean out your stems and your airway and it does an excellent job and it's cheap. Uh, you buy a whole quart of grain alcohol in a liquor store and you have it forever. You don't have to buy the one made for pipes. Um, this works just as well. Hope that helps, and I'll catch you on the next. Oh, last item. This is uh, Eric, the blue-collar piper, uses this, feed and wax. Excellent, easy way to get a nice finish on a pipe, and it smells excellent. And you shake it, put it on the rag, wipe the pipe down, and it comes beautiful. And you can buff it by hand, and you really get a nice shine. Howard's Feed and Wax. Thank you. I'll catch you on the next one.